Okay, Alpha Omega Mom, and guess what? I'm not showing you my face because I my hair is a mess today. <laughs> Actually, I have I've been laying around all day long. But here we are with the pile of red chilies. I'm gonna show you a um, what I'm gonna be making, and all of you will want to tune in here because I'm making tamales. And so this is what uh, I usually do this in phases, and this is gonna be um, this is one of the first phases is I get a bag of uh, red chili. They're red chili pods and uh, a lot of grocery stores here in uh, Arizona carry them. And if you see these, these are pecoso, which is actually meaning that they're the hot ones. And um, when you make tamales, um, the masa really absorbs a lot of the heat. So if you get mild, you're not going to get you know, in our, my family's opinion, uh, spicy enough um, tamales. So I always get the hot. I've learned to get the hot. Now, the tradition is I learned this from my grandma years ago. I'd go to her house, and I decided I wanted to learn to make, carry on the tradition. And so I learned to make tamales with her. I'd go there, and I'd take the items that I needed, and um, we would make tamales. So I always wash off. These first, because they've been in the dirt, so you want to wash them off. Because once I wash them off and I put them in the hot water, they're not, um, they are not, I, I use the water from the water that um, I boil them in. Okay, so I've watched a few videos on uh, YouTube to see different people's versions of this. And you know what? Mine is different. Um, but I've been doing this for a long time, too. So... I learned from a, a old Mexican lady, literally from Mexico, which was my grandmother. So anyways, with these chilies, I used to peel off this and shake out the seeds out of there. But you know what? In New Mexico, they don't do that, at least from um, some family members who own a Mexican restaurant in New Mexico. And I'm going to tell you, as much as I don't really like New Mexico for a lot of uh, reasons, I love their chili and you know their hatch chili and their chilies are you know I haven't been around the world but I've been around the United States and I would say that um, they are delicious so anyways wash these off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these off and since I'm the only one videotaping I'm going to have to stop the recorder but I'm going to pull this off but I'm going to leave the um, chili seeds in there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my stove I'm going to turn on this pan and I am going to heat up the chilies and throw them all in there and cook them for a little bit just to soften the skins and uh, I'll show you the process uh, as when they're getting through cooking and you'll get to see what I do in the last few steps but uh, what I've been doing today too is I've been cooking meat in the crock pot and I have here a roast I am not picky about the kind of, this is beef uh, and it's done. I'm going to shred it up and I'm going to take that juice uh, and I'm going to put it in a container because it's going to also go in my masa when I get through, um, get ready to prepare it. So anyways, I'm going to shred the beef up and I did put in some garlic cloves and I salted it. You can put onion in there too. And then I also did, because sometimes some people like pork, some people think it's beef are too dry. I'm kind of a dry person, as you can tell. But anyways, here's the pork roast. I did buy a pork roast, and that's going to get shredded up uh, too. And I'm probably not going to save the juice from this, mainly because it's not a grass-fed uh, pork roast. So I also cooked some other meat earlier, which um, I am going to be using when I go to make my tamales. So yeah, this is done, ready to shred. I'm going to shred it, put it in a container, and when I assemble it in two days, that's when we'll take it out and it'll be ready. So this has been cooked. I've cooked some other meat, and I've cooked, uh, and th that was a three-pound pork loin, and this is probably about the same. It's a pretty big roast, and I'm planning on cooking about 10 to 15 dozen tamales. So... Um, the other one was maybe two pounds of roast. So uh, those are done. I'm not going to really let you watch you uh, let you watch me shred it, but that'll get done. And so the next step I'll show you when I convene back with you is 
going to be the chilies cooked in this pan. 